Now, at the beginning of this video, we went over the basic code of conduct. Talked about the importance of looking professional, being punctual, dependable, and we covered a few behaviors that would break the company's policy and or the law. Sounds familiar? In this chapter, we will dive deeper into what it means to exercise good and ethical behavior while on duty. Access Control Security has a reputation for excellence, and we expect our security officers to exemplify our standards of conduct and ethics. In our office and on-site, security officers must put into practice basic values such as honesty, integrity, respect, and kindness. Our code of conduct refers to the proper way of behaving while on duty. So, for example, when guarding a hotel entrance, are you courteous and respectful? Are you helpful when people ask questions? These qualities are essential to security officers who often have to interact with the public. And remember that people look to you for safety and protection. Adding a smile, good manners to your uniform puts people at ease. Ethical behavior is also about behaving in the correct way, but it has to do with your ability to choose between right and wrong. Consider this situation. You are patrolling a neighborhood in an access control security vehicle. You took a lunch break in a parking lot, and as you pull out of a tight spot, you accidentally dent the car next to you. You look around, there are no witnesses, do you drive away because it's just a dent, nobody will notice? This is an ethical dilemma because driving away might be easier, but it would be wrong. The right decision here would be to notify the owner of the vehicle, and if you can't find the owner, then leave a written note with your contact information. If you're concerned that you will be late for your shift, you should contact dispatch. So the lesson here is that you should always be honest and ethical, no matter the consequences. And in the end, you will have a clear conscience knowing that you did the right thing. Now remember that as a security officer, you need to always exemplify good behavior. Colleagues, supervisors, clients, and the communities you interact with will cooperate with you if you are ethical and if they know they can trust you. And we all make mistakes from time to time, but engaging in prohibited behaviors is a different story. You need to understand what these prohibited behaviors are, especially when you're confronted with challenging situations. Your employee handbook has a detailed list of shoulds and should nots. For the purpose of this video, we will highlight a few essential points that every security officer must live by. First of all, always carry your current license and ACS security officer identification card with you. If something goes wrong while on duty, you should contact the police immediately. For serious emergencies, call 911. You should never disclose any private information about ACS and its clients. When you are hired, you sign a confidentiality agreement. So keep in mind that information spreads quickly via email, text, social media, and word of mouth. You should not speak negatively of clients or anyone in your work environment. Personal prejudice is never acceptable, nor is engaging in an argument over your political beliefs with clients or colleagues. And also, you should not treat the client as your friend. Being courteous and friendly does not mean having a personal conversation or asking inappropriate questions. You should remember that your relationship to the client is only about business. You should not ask for anything, not even water. Now, consider this situation. You are guarding the entrance of a building and someone offers you a generous tip for handing a package to a person inside the building. Do you accept it? The answer, of course, is no. You should never accept any form of payment from anyone while on duty and never use your position to get something for yourself. Now, what if you're guarding the entrance of a retail store and you decide to leave your post even though you are not on an official break? You walk down the street, you get a snack from a nearby store, and while you're gone, an employee is threatened at gunpoint you and ACS would be held responsible for leaving the business unattended. So remember, you should not do anything negligent or careless that would endanger the life or safety of another person. And finally, 
you should 100% follow the laws that govern firearms. As a security officer, it's imperative that you know what's legal and what isn't when it comes to possessing and carrying firearms and weapons. We are a security company, and it goes without saying that we take the safety and security of our employees very seriously. Using, carrying, selling, purchasing, or transporting any firearms or personal weapons is strictly prohibited at your post, on the client's property, or even in your car when parked on the client's or company property. By personal weapons, we mean handguns, knives, batons, brass knuckles, saps, and clubs. And what's more, security officers are allowed to carry pepper spray or handcuffs only if permitted by ACS. Only those security officers who have a firearms license and are authorized to carry a firearm by ACS in order to perform their job can be armed. If you are found carrying a weapon or firearm without authorization from ACS, you would be fired immediately. You must contact your supervisor if you suspect that anyone in your work environment is breaking the law by carrying a gun or weapon. If you do not report it, you could lose your job. Authorized security officers can only carry the firearms that are licensed to them. In all situations, firearms should be unloaded and stored in the trunk or another locked compartment of the vehicle while being transported to or from any client site. ACS is an alcohol and drug-free workplace. We are deeply concerned about the physical and mental health of all our employees and will not tolerate the use of alcohol and drugs. Prescription and over-the-counter drugs can be used if they do not affect your ability to perform your job. But on the other hand, the use of alcohol, marijuana, illegal drugs, and controlled substances is strictly prohibited. By being under the influence of drugs or alcohol, you are a potential danger to the welfare and safety of employees and clients. And if we suspect that you might be under the influence of any substance that could affect your performance, we may ask you to do a drug or alcohol test. Now, whether you are on company property or offsite, keep in mind that you are representing ACS and you need to behave according to our code of conduct. That means no drugs, no alcohol at any time. Drinking alcohol or taking drugs during your lunch break off site and coming back under the influence is not tolerated. At ACS, when it comes to sexual harassment, we do not joke around. In fact, we provide mandatory training and education to all of our security officers. There's a fine line between what is appropriate in our work relationships and what is not. And though sometimes we think that being playful and flirtatious is fun and harmless when in fact it actually offends the other person who perceives it as an unwanted sexual advance. It's important that you understand what is considered sexual harassment and what behaviors are not tolerated in our workplace. Sexual harassment at work means sexual advances like visual, verbal, or physical conduct of a sexual nature towards someone. For example, making sexual gestures, showing sexual objects, pictures, videos, or photographs. And it could also mean sending sexually oriented emails, drawings, or stories, or calling someone by an inappropriate nickname, or a term of endearment such as sweetheart, babe, or darling. You know, you may think that these terms are sweet, but in fact, they're inappropriate. Physical or verbal abuse, like commenting on someone's body in an inappropriate way, or using sexual terms, to describe someone is also considered sexual harassment. And as an ACS employee and while in the office or on site, you should never engage in sexual behavior. Flirting with other employees or clients, making inappropriate advances, touching, hugging, or kissing, they're never allowed in the workplace. In your role as a security officer, you cannot offer anything to get sexual favors or use your title or position to threaten someone who reacts to a sexual advance. Please note that ACS will conduct a separate mandatory training on sexual harassment. It's time to recap what we've learned. One, 
We talked about building trust with clients, and we do this by exercising good and ethical behavior. Check your employee handbook for a list of shoulds and should nots. Two, to be ethical is to be able to choose between right and wrong and make the right decision. Three, remember, you should never do anything negligent or careless that could endanger the life or safety of another person or jeopardize your own safety. Four, no security officer can carry any kind of weapon while on duty except those officers who have a firearms license and are authorized by ACS to carry a firearm in order to perform their job. Five, it goes without saying that drinking alcohol or taking drugs while on duty or during breaks is strictly prohibited. And six, all ACS employees need to understand what sexual harassment means and never engage in sexual behavior toward anyone in their work environment. You've now completed chapter three. To take the quiz, click on the button below. <laughs>